A building design out of UBC's structural engineering department aims to keep residents safer during an earthquake. The lead researcher says unlike the Cold War era design on most current high rises, with the elevators in the center of the building, their system is based around a concrete core with the building designed to move around it, using shock absorption devices like in your car to dissipate the energy of the quake. And we also uh, uh, remove the foundation, allow the base of the foundation to move to dissipate more energy with without uh, causing a lot of demand to the foundation, so make it actually cheaper uh, for the foundation design. Plus, Yong says it allows for more usable space. The team tested their model in Shanghai on the world's largest shake table with the force of a magnitude 9 quake. That's what's estimated to hit here in BC. We were very excited to see it really works. So we end up shaking for another earthquake, the Mexico earthquake, the Chile earthquake, all the earthquake in the past. We went through 120 earthquakes and the building are still standing and no building in real life can actually do that. So we're very happy to see. One city planner says increasing safety in concrete and steel buildings is great, but he hopes the technology can also be applicable to greener construction. We want to be transitioning to more sustainable materials like mass timber for reasons, uh, uh, all sorts of reasons, not the least of which is the consequences of the climate emergency. According to a report released by the city of Vancouver last November, modeling shows a 7.2 magnitude quake would cause major damage to existing private-owned buildings, mostly rentals. Yong's technology is something the city of Vancouver says it might be interested in. We anticipate um, more density and development in the future. And so if we can benefit from that technology, the research that's happening at UBC, I think it's a good thing for the city. So can this technology be used to strengthen existing buildings? The answer is yes, but it's not as trivial because uh, you needed to start strengthening the existing building, then adding this technology into it, but it's possible. Young says that technology for new build high rises is ready to be implemented and compatible under local building codes. His team hoping to bring some stability to earthquake-prone cities like Vancouver. Renee Lucas, CBC News, Vancouver.